Hello everybody, I'm Nick and in this video I'll be showing you how we can retrieve a single or multiple resources out of a collection in a RESTful API in ASP.NET Core. So let's see what we have here from the last session. We have a list of posts, in this case five posts that only have an ID here. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to add a post name on this model and the reason is we want to make it clear that there are different posts uh, in this collection. So if I go ahead and I give it a, a name property, then all I'll do is in the controller, I will add a name and the name will be post name. And then I, and uh, let's see what that gives us. So if I run the API, then if you remember, we have this get endpoint that we just run and we get all the posts. So in this case, we have the five posts from the controller. Uh, this is a way to get every resource in the collection. That's why our get endpoint targets posts, uh, because we get everything uh, in this uh, collection. But what if we want to get a single item? Okay, let's close that. And let's create a new endpoint, and it's going to be a get endpoint. And if we uh, see what we did in the previous video, we actually created this get endpoint because we use it on the create method. And in here, we did this weird thing with the curly braces, and we said post ID. What ASP.NET Core will do is it will try to find this name, uh, the post ID name, in either the query or the root. Uh, we can actually, however, specify that and we can say from root, we want a GUID with name post ID. And, and be careful because the way this variable is named actually has to match this. And we can actually make this even more specific by saying that this is a GUID. I won't do it now because it will break the, the this bit here, but we'll get back to that later. For now, all I want is to get this post ID and return a single item if uh, the ID, a post with this ID exists. So, for now, we have a list of posts in memory. And let me just make this read only as we're not resetting it later. And we're going to say that let's look in posts and give me a single post or default where id equals post id. And we get this error because the id here is actually a string. So let's change that to GUID, as it really is a GUID. And let's do the same with the other models we have. And now we've done that, we actually don't need this either. And we can match a single post. Uh, the singular default method will try to match one exact item, or if it doesn't match one, it will return null for post. In REST, when we don't have the resource, so if post equals null, we return not found. So we just say not found. And 404. Uh, if we do have it, we return the post. Before we go ahead though and see how that works, we have to do a little bit of, a, of an exercise before that. As you can see, we have some posts here, but these posts are actually being initialized every time we hit the controller. So for that purpose, we need to extract that into some sort of service or something like that and register it as a singleton. A singleton is a class in our system with only one instance, so it won't be reinitialized every time we call it. So let's go ahead and make 
a new folder and name it services and just create a post service for now. So I need an interface, I post service. And the class post service. And what this will have is a method that returns a list of posts. Or a single post. And we're going to move our list of posts in there. And then all we need to do is return posts from this method and do the same matching thing from this method. So post singular default id equals post id. However, we do actually need to install this. So as we have a DB installer here, I'll consider it something that will go in the database later. So add singleton i post service and in this controller instead we will use this service so i post service so let's replace these let's get posts get post by id this will have to change later let's keep like this for now and this is again read only so now we should be able to just retrieve a single post and the post should not be reinitialized every time we hit the endpoint so let's see if that actually worked. As you can see, 3b4, 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 no matter how many times we do that, this is the same ID. So if I copy this ID here, and I use that ID in this endpoint, as you can see, I get this same item back. If I make a mistake or this doesn't exist, as you can see, I get a 404 error not found back. This is how REST a RESTful API should behave. We should get a 404 if the resource doesn't exist on a direct read, or we should get the 200 and the body of the item if the item exists. That's all I want to show you in this video. Subscribe if you like this video and leave a thumbs up if you liked it too, and I'll see you in the next video. Keep coding.